just crash into somebody else's this car. car. How can they pay, pay for, for it? it? And not me. And then and then this guy's like, you can't. You're the one that caused the accident. And he's like, no, I didn't. And he's like, who got ticketed? I left before police could get there. <laughs> but, but I got ticketed. To, but I got t- uh, ticketed to a new Venom movie and Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> did you, and he says, did you and the other party agree to part ways? Fleeing a crash is jail time, is a jail time offense, and it's a pretty low thing to do. And he's like, how do I get invited to the other party? <laughs> so what I'm sensing from your other replies is you either don't have insurance or you're actually joking. Can't tell what's going on here. So as long as the other person has insurance, then I can make them pay for it. And he's like, nope, they have to, they will pay the person you hit and then they'll go after you for that money. How will they go after me if they don't, if I didn't give them my insurance? He's like, if it's your fault, then your insurance needs to pay for it. And he's like, but I didn't give them my insurance because I didn't want to pay for it. So surely they can't sue. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> um, Wait, send me this. He's like, um, you, he's like, you don't have to give them your insurance information for them to go after your insurance. It would be a quite silly loophole. No, all it takes is your license plate and, and their insurance can figure it out. Thanks for the heads up. I'll change my license plate so they don't find me. <laughs> <laughs> you must be joking. That won't help you. I'm sorry. I'm not joking. I'm really stressed and I just need to find, need to find out whatever he said. He's like, how old are you? Is your car your own or your parents? If it belongs to your parents, then they probably have insurance. But if you're under 25, then you're, then they're going to be fucked, lol. He says, I'm 36 and a half. So basically 37. (laughs) You're probably better off just giving them your insurance info. And he's like, but that would be like shooting myself in the toes or whoever it's saying goes. (laughs) So you don't even have their license plate or phone number. Did you talk to them at least? Or did you just drive off after the accident? I don't know, I left and got a Big Mac meal. Yeah, that's not how it works. If you'd exchange insurance information, their company would talk to yours, and after sorting out who's at fault, they'd settle things with minimal involvement on your part. Without insurance information, their company will have to track you down and sue you personally. I won't let them. How do you plan to stop them? Insurance companies have teams of lawyers for this sort of situation. There's no way they can find me. I didn't give them my insurance or nothing to the other guy. Eventually they'll get bored and not try to find me. Ah yes, a full hit and run. Insurance is the least of your worries now. Why is this guy continuing this conversation with him? Be a man and take responsibility for your own fuck ups. And this guy says, you're probably the prude I crashed into. That's why you're so mad. Why do you assume I'm mad because I've expressed my opinion? What Reddit had to say about you later would have been the least of your worries. What would my worries be then? Hope you never have to find out. No? Question mark? Fleeing the scene of an accident is going to cost you more than money than more money than paying the car you ran into. Your dad fled the scene of your house and cost your family decades of pain and suffering. Kind of. He died when we were little and we had years of poverty as my mother struggled. But we're happy and I turned out okay. You? And he's like, so I was right. Owned. (laughs) Send that to us. Out of nowhere at the end, your dad fled the scene of your house. (laughs) What a great comeback. That's a perfect comeback. I never would have thought of that. 